Imagine not being able to read the paper because your hands were shaking. Imagine not being able to read newsprint as your world faded to black. The National Federation of the Blind, Newsline Indiana, monthly report. With your host, Lee Martin, and co-host, Florence Myers McSwine. We want to welcome everyone to the National Federation of the Blind Newsline Indiana Monthly Report. Today, Florence, today we're here at, uh, in Indianapolis, Indiana at the Western Hotel and uh, at the Governor's Council for People with Disabilities Conference. And um, we got several great interviews coming up here. And uh, the first interview is with Mr. Danny Wayne Beamer. You guys will really enjoy him. Uh, we're, our show is centered around the National Federation of the Blind Newsline. It's a service of the National Federation of the Blind to allow individuals that are blind, visually impaired, print challenged, those with uh, dyslexia and uh, the shaking, shaking hand syndrome and even some of those that are, are, are deaf-blind community can now access uh, newspapers, magazines, uh, TV guide listings, job listings, a plethora of information just by the use of their telephones, their landline phone, their um, smartphones, um, we say the Victor Reader streams, mm -hmm. uh, and um, the Digital Talking Player from the State Talking Book and Braille Library, which is a sponsor of um, the National Federation of the Blind of Indiana. So, uh, Florence, what are some of the magazines that you like to read or you find people like to read? Well, there's many magazines that I like to read. Um, and I, I just want to add into that real quick that it is a free service. Yeah, yes, and um, right. now the magazines that I really like, um, one is Guy Post. Um, Oh, goodness, Wired Magazine. Wired. Okay. Yes, Wired Magazine for people who you know, like computers and things like that. Um, there's magazines for people who like, um, there's PC Magazine. PC. Uh-huh. Okay. Yes. Well, those are a few of the magazines that we have. So um, we'll be right back with our guest, Mr. Danny Wayne Beamer. So stay with us. I just graduated college as a blind student. How can I independently find job listings? Thanks to the National Federation of the Blind, visually impaired Hoosiers can hear newspapers, circulars, and magazines from across the globe. It is a fantastic service. Learn more by calling 855-963-6476 or visit nfbnewsline-in.org. We are the nation's blind, and we read NFB Newsline. If you or someone you know is visually impaired or print challenged, the National Federation of the Blind has a resource you need. I use NFB Newsline when reading Hammond Northwest Times. Using NFB Newsline, I read the Christian Science Magazine. Dad, you read Jerusalem Post too. Learn more by calling 855-963-6476 or visit nfbnewsline-in.org. the life you want, read NFB Newsline. It's free. I want to welcome you back to the National Federation of the Blind Newsline Indiana Monthly Report. We have a very interesting guest today, and we'll be talking with him very shortly. As you uh, see, Florence, um, our guest today does a lot of work uh, throughout the state of Indiana, particularly southern Indiana. We'll find out more about him. So uh, we just want to welcome today to our show um, a person that I uh, have a lot of uh, confidence in and a good uh, camaraderie, just a good friend, a good person to know professionally and as well as personally. So Danny Wayne Beamer, I love that name, Danny Wayne Beamer. How are you today? I'm very good. It's very good to re uh, 
acquaintance myself with you and Florence, and very excited to talk about NFB Newsline and the program that, uh, that I uh, utilize. And so are we. And um, what I have, what I want to find out first, um, Mr. Beamer, is um, about your condition. How long have you been coping with blindness, and what is or what was your diagnosis? Florence, I have been visually impaired all of my life. Uh, my left eye is prosthetic. It's not real. It's two thousand six hundred and fifty-five dollars to replace. Just put a note in there, just uh, so you know. Uh, I have glaucoma. I have slightly more than light perception in the right eye. In other words, uh, maybe I see one or two fingers within uh, three inches of me. I guess to really sum it up for you, I can't read standard prints. If I read something in print, it has to be 79 font, which is extremely large print. And that kills a lot of trees. So, uh, so I, I want to look for a way to access material audibly. Okay, so that just takes us right into uh, NFB Newsline. So you are a subscriber then to NFB Newsline services. Yes, I am, and I have been for a number of years. Okay. How did you first hear about NFB Newsline? Well, uh, gosh, that is a really good question. I have to think back. It's, it really has been a lot of years that I've used that, and I, it may have been through the NFB websites, or maybe before that may have been something that you and I came across, Lee, but honestly, I can't remember. It's been so long ago. Well, okay, so how has the... Uh, um NFB Newsline uh, transition from uh, what you were using prior to uh, NFB Newsline. Let's oh. talk about that. Uh, for a number of years, and I still am in uh, the radio broadcasting industry, uh, several of us would do what is called show preparation. And we would try to find information and articles in advance about musical groups, topical uh, events, current events, uh, those type of things. And we really struggled and it was something that just uh, was difficult for us. And uh, I found that this resource, the National Federation of the Blinds Newsline, uh, via a couple of different options, was a much faster way to gather material and to, to utilize it for uh, my own independent studies as well as my verbal communication on radio as well as my interaction with uh, other comrades that were sensory challenged. Hmm. Now everyone has a, a preference as far as using Newsline services, so do you prefer using your landline phone, your iPhone? Or? Uh, landline phone right now is, is what I use. Uh, I just find that a little bit faster. Uh, when I come home from the day, uh, I utilize it or I'll utilize it first thing in the morning to get kind of a pulse of what's taking place, uh, you know, for that day. I'm kind of an, I guess you would say, a, a uh, knowledge junkie. I try to gather as much information as I can, but I can't tell you about anything I read about. <laughs> but I just sort of like getting that information. Yeah. Well, so um, you say at the end of your day, and I know you're a very busy individual, and um, <clears throat> what are some of the articles that you like to read about on NFB Newsline? Well, let's talk about that. Let's say the first thing in the morning, let's do that. Uh, I get up around 5, uh, uh, let's see, 5.40 a.m., get dressed, get a shower, get dressed, wait for my ride. So I have about 15 to 18 minutes. And what I do is I grab the cordless telephone, kind of hang out by the front door uh, listening for my ride. But then I'll hit uh, the local newspaper, uh, the Terre Haute Tribune Star newspaper. I'll skim through that and uh, get a, a, an idea of recent articles that have been published so I have uh, a knowledge of what's taking place that day. I also then, for my professional work, I check the obituaries because that's something to know that gives me sort of an idea if I've uh, had one of my consumers pass and, and on many, many occasions I have learned about the passing of, of an individual that I have provided low vision services to through the NFB Newsline. And that saves me a, an embarrassment to have called the family to say, how's Joe Smith today? And they're like, Joe Smith's no longer with us. Because sometimes they forget to call me. So NFB Newsline obituary section for the Terre Haute Tribune Star is a, a crucial tool for me in that part of my work. Uh, with my radio stations, I still do public affairs shows, and the NFB Newsline gives me 
uh, ideas about re recent council meetings, uh, activities coming up, uh, a pulse of that community to direct me to contact individuals to schedule radio interviews with those entities. That's the work side of it. You want to talk about the fun side now? Yeah, let's talk about the fun side. What, what, what kind of fun you have? Well, I've been a music person all of my life, and I love Rolling Stone magazine. Mm -hmm. And Rolling Stone, if you time it just right, you can hit that issue before it gets to the other. Uh, to the, in fact, on Tuesdays, I usually, uh, Tuesday night, I usually go through there about every other week, and I read several of the articles. I just, I like them, more in-depth articles. Uh, <clears throat> So that's for pleasure. I also read uh, a, mag a variety of magazines, anything from uh, Bride Monthly to Consumer Reports, uh, just to kind of give me some you know, different things I want there. Uh, I really like the magazines. Time Magazine has some really good articles. Mm -hmm. I read the Chicago newspaper. They have some excellent writers and, and gives me a uh, perspective on anything from gardening or, or uh, this time of the year, you know, winter tips to keep you from being depressed. Mm -hmm. So as busy as you are, Mr. Beamer, you have the time because NFB Newsline is 24 and 7 um, to read uh, what you like, what you enjoy, as well as uh, for your professional use as well. Florence, that's true. Uh, first thing in the morning, I scope what's, what's ahead for the day or what's been out there as a general public. And then at the end of the night, when I want to relax and mm -hmm. read something fun, that's sort of a, uh, an escape. I use the NFB newsline at night as my escape from, you know, I'm wound up for the day, this unwinds me at night. Uh, so, you know, during the 24-hour period, um, have you found that the, how the publication populates throughout the day with the fresh information? Absolutely. It, it's, it, it really is very good. Uh, Indianapolis Star, I hit that a couple of times a day because uh, I, I'm a sports person. I kind of see what's going on there. Use it for the weekend to do a lot of that. But I, I find it, it, it's updated on a very regular basis. Uh, a lot of the magazines, uh, there's a magazine called Maxim, which is a really good cultural magazine, and it's updated several times a day. I do read some international uh, uh, newspapers, and that's updated on a very regular basis, you know, by the hour. Of course, breaking news is, is very resourceful, too, as well. Don't use the app as much, so if we're going to talk about the app. I need to do a little more time with that, but honestly, usually on the day, I'm usually... Uh, using my phone for work, so the, the NFB Newsline landline, the, the toll-free number is a tool in the morning. At night, it's my, because uh, I don't watch a lot of television. Well, so it's a great tool for you, and uh, we're going to take a short break here, and we'll be back to talk with Danny Wayne Beamer a little bit more about um, his usage of the National Federation of the Blind Newsline, as well as some professional aspects of his, uh, his life. So we'll be right back. Stay with us. I'm Danny Wayne Beamer, Program Manager of the Elder Blind Program at the Will Center in Terre Haute, Indiana. I introduce the NFB Newsline to seniors in 13 southwestern counties in Indiana. I also utilize the NFB Newsline for my radio station public affairs shows. The NFB Newsline. Experience it today. Learn more by calling 855-963-6476 or visit nfbnewsline-in.org. We are If you or someone you know is visually impaired or print challenged, the National Federation of the Blind has a resource you need. Wow, I scored a touchdown when I found sports on NFB Newsline. I enjoy reading TV guide listings on NFB Newsline. Learn more by calling 855-963-6476 or visit nfbnewsline-in.org. We are It's free.
We want to welcome everyone back to the National Federation of the Blind Newsline Indiana Monthly Report. Today, Florence and I have a great guest here, Mr. Danny Wayne Beamer. And uh, Danny, we're going to go ahead right back on into this interview. I uh, just want to know something, you know, how um, does NFB Newsline impact the lives of uh, your consumers and, and, and your, your life in general? You know, I'm glad you asked that, Florence and Lee. Uh, the program that I manage, uh, a lot of those people are print challenged, and the first thing they tell me is, we want to read the local newspaper. And I say to them, here's your opportunity to take this into your own hands. So I go into detail with them and explain to them the process of accessing the NFB Newsline through the uh, program that I manage. It's uh, in large print. I have the material and I bring it with me and provide it to the individual, give them the temporary code uh, to access uh, this. And the first thing they say is, well, I don't know if I can do this. In the beginning, the first time you access that in Florence, you can testify, I'm sure. It's a little complicated the mm -hmm. first time you do this. But what I have found is that if we do a demonstration with them and slow the voice output out, slow that down a little bit, because I run it a little bit faster, and, and most of us that are sensory challenged, uh, I have a friend that uh, down in uh, Evansville who runs his, uh, you know, very, he's very fast with his speech because uh, he's just been so attuned to that. But I keep mine pretty fast, but when we demonstrate it, we slow it down to make sure individuals have a real just good grasp of the knowledge. Uh, it gives them the quest to read the local newspaper. The obituaries happens to be the number one thing people say, I want to read the obituaries. You know, I want to find, because 75% uh, of the people that we work with, Florence and Lee, are 50, north of 55 years of age. So they're getting to that point where some of their friends are passing away and they want to know about that. They don't want to be told six months later, oh, Joe Smith passed away, did you know? Well, they feel kind of inadequate. And so now, as I introduce this to individuals, and most of the people I work with uh, are not Braille users, so we do uh, the information in a 24 font. Okay, now, um, Denny, you know what excites me is listening to you talk about the NFB Newsline. Uh, you, uh, I hear the passion for the service in what you say and, and the clients that you uh, introduce the service to. And that excites me to hear you talk about that. And um, now you are involved in a lot of things uh, in Southern Indiana, correct? Yes, I am. Uh, I actually manage a program targeted to help individuals who are 55 and older. It's called the Older Blind Program. I provide uh, services, one-on-one -on -one direct services in the homes of individuals in 10 western Indiana counties. That would be Terre Haute, Indiana, Greencastle, Brazil, Indiana, Rockville, Indiana, uh, Clinton, Indiana. Then we move down uh, south, Sullivan, Vincennes, Washington, Indiana. And a lot of those people live in rural environments where uh, they may not have a lot of contact with individuals on, uh, you know, throughout the day or regular day. And they may not subscribe to a newspaper. Uh, so I have found that pushing them to the NFB Newsline takes a little bit of time. Sometimes you can't push a rope, but once you get them involved in it, they really do enjoy it. And uh, if you're gonna ask me my biggest struggle is, I want everybody that I know to participate and utilize a resource like the NFB Newsline. Mm -hmm. Because of its ease of access, once you've done it a couple of times, to the reward you have as knowledge is something they can take my shoes away, but they can never take that knowledge away. That's right, exactly. Well, and you say like the NFB Newsline. I know there's a lot of other publications out there that, um, but I don't think they've come to the um, technical side um, and ease of access uh, like NFB Newsline. Would you agree to that? It is, and for the opportunity to read international newspapers from London or from uh, Tokyo or from uh, all over the world, uh, we're a culture of, uh, you know, we can bring visualization into our homes with uh, a variety of, of resources, whether they be satellite or cable, 
But audibly, uh, that's my best uh, approach is that I, I find it audibly. And, and I tell individuals, I say, look, if you want to read a magazine, this is a great way to do so. And the publications, you can hit it just right. Uh, you'll get them as soon as or before sometimes the print copies uh, hit individuals or, or the email hits their inbox. Mm -hmm. And that's so true about your circulars. Um, because you receive those circulars prior to them arriving in people's mailboxes. And also, um, during the Christmas season here, we have additional um, circulars that are being added to the service. So I, I find it makes it, it, makes it very convenient uh, for uh, people to use the service like in that manner. Now, uh, students, do you, 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 you work with many students. Uh, I have very little conversation with students about the NFB Newsline. I have found that right now they're entrenched in, entrenched in academics and uh, once they get a brainwash of that, when it comes to their nighttime, uh, they're off for a thirsty or a socialization. Now, do you um, get much feedback uh, yourself about the NFB Newsline? I ask a lot of people and sometimes they say, well, I tried it once or twice and then I go into uh, operation mode and say, well, let's, let's look at this together. Let's see what your obstacle is, what we can do to overcome that obstacle to get you to say, I can just pick up the phone right now and get a pulse of what's going on, whether it be international, whether it be the business reports, or whether it be uh, magazines from Rachel Ray, or whether it be a variety of, of uh, social and entertainment. I love entertainment, you know, and I can be up to the minute on entertainment that's going on and I don't have to wait until a pre-produced show at 6.30 at night. Mm -hmm. Now what is your um, your favorite, your mode of getting the NFB Newsline um, information to your clients? What's your favorite? Uh, I have found that the landline telephone and seniors still do have landline telephones. They haven't bridged to doing their cell phones, which is coming, and, and the iPad is something that is coming for some of those, but they're just learning the, uh, the resources under the hood of those pieces of technology. So to answer your question, uh, Florence, we focus on landline right now. Landline seems to be uh, the most comfortable thing they've been doing and using for 50 years. Awesome. Yeah. So Danny at the Will Center, uh, you want to tell us a little bit about uh, what the Will Center is? It's the willcenter.org. We also have a Facebook page, Will CTR. The organization provides free services to individuals with all types of disabilities. My focus is on the sensory challenge, but the organization builds wheelchair ramps uh, in six counties. I don't know if you know this, but Medicare does not provide funding for a ramp for an individual to get out of their home. They'll buy you a mobility device but without a resource to get it out of the home, it's ineffective. We also have peer support groups. I actually have five living with low vision support groups around southwestern Indiana, and we have had uh, speakers from the NFB Newsline at many of those, and we do appreciate that. And we find uh, knowledge is a wonderful thing to introduce to people. Their sensory challenge. We were just down in Davis County just uh, recently and, and introduced the NFB Newsline to a lady there who had never heard of it before. She just lost her vision in the last two months. You know, uh, my partner D. Dodd uh, was in her home with her and she called me afterwards and was pretty upset. This lady had only lost her vision in two months ago and we're in the home already at least helping her create a path to knowledge as well as independence and confidence. But uh, a few tears shed that day by that young lady. Uh, so the impact. So what we're going to do, um, we're thanking you for bringing all this great information onto the show. And um, Danny, we wish you the greatest of success. And we'll be waiting to hear more from you on your radio show. And um, we'll be talking with you sometime soon. Lawrence and Lee, thank you very much for what you and the individuals with all type of, uh, of resources with uh, products like the Newsline. Thank you very much. All right. Well, audience, we want to thank you very much for joining in, and we trust that you um, tune back in next week. Thank you very much, Danny Wayne. Thank you.
thousands of Indiana residents feel isolated from the world due to vision problems. Thanks to the National Federation of the Blind, visually impaired Hoosiers can hear newspapers, circulars, and magazines from across the globe. I'm a Vietnam veteran. I'm blind. I read Stars and Stripes on NFB Newsline. Learn more by calling 855-963-6476 or visit nfbnewsline-in.org. Subscribe free to NFB Newsline. We all have the ability to touch the lives of those around us. Sometimes, even the smallest act has the power to change a life. Reach out to the veterans in your life today. Let them know they're not alone. That's the power of one. One simple act can make all the difference. With my failing eyesight, I'm not able to read regular newspapers, and I'm not able to keep up with obituaries. I've been a homemaker all of my life, but since my vision has failed, I wish I could read my favorite magazine. Have you heard of the NFB Newsline? Learn more by calling 855-963-6476 or visit nfbnewsline-in.org. Subscribe free to NFB Newsline today. The National Federation of the Blind knows that blindness is not the characteristic that defines you or your future. Every day we raise the expectations of blind people because lower expectations create obstacles between blind people and our dreams. You can live the life you want. Blindness is not what holds you back. I want to welcome you back to the National Federation of the Blind Newsline Indiana Monthly Report. We're concluding the show today with Mr. Danny Wayne Beamer. Uh, what a great talent, wouldn't you say, Ms. Florence? A lot of talent, reaching out into the lives of many, many people. And uh, we'll just give him a little bit more, um, um, let you know what he's do doing in the Terre Haute area in southern Indiana uh, with, the, um, with the Will Center there. Uh, we encourage individuals to contact the Will Center uh, in southern Indiana as well as to contact us. The numbers are running across the screen. To learn more about the National Federation of the Blind Newsline Service, uh, it is a tour, and, and as you have listened to Mr. Beamer talk about the older blind program uh, that uh, he's in charge of in, in the southern portion of Indiana. So please feel free to contact him and contact us uh, in Indianapolis, Indiana, or contact our national office in Baltimore, Maryland. So. Uh, in conclusion, we just want to say thank you very much for joining us, and uh, please join us next week. In the National Federation of the Blind and Blind Indiana, Monthly Report. The National Federation of the Blind, Indiana, Monthly Report. For more information, go to nfb-in.org or call 317-205-9226. That's 317-205-9226. The National Federation of the Blind encourages you to live the life you want.